I'm a retired software developer and my wife has assigned me the job of writing websites to keep me out of her hair and you can access my main website just by typing satupe s-a-t-u-p-e in google and I'm up here there on google sites and this is the link to my main website I map railroads in the United States and all the railroads in Indiana and Kentucky, you know, most of them in Ohio. But now I've gone into music mode since my granddaughter is into the alto sax. So there's a lot of information I need to feed to her while I still at halfway think. So I created a new website called Butch's Music Site. And this site is written in the new Google Sites and is a little different than anything I'd ever seen before. Finds a pretty easy way to have one website that has a whole lot of information. So the way the site's laid out is up here at the top I got the contents of the site. And these are the major topics that are covered. Like there's Butch's Sheet Music Arrangements. Butch's album recordings, navigate sheet using for the repeats, and uh, subheadings of written instructions, and instructional YouTube videos if you want to see those. And for real nerds like me, <laughs> get bored and try to look for things to learn, I have some very nerdy things for Linux people. Installing MuseScore 3 app image on Ubuntu 18.04 Bionic and such and such if you're interested in how to change the sound fonts of MuseScore. Let's just get on with how to navigate this site. I think my granddaughter uses this particular content more than anything, which is sheet music arrangements. So it takes you right down to the sheet musics and there's any saxophone arrangements right there. So you can click on that site, and it gives all the songs that I've scored for our granddaughter, and pinnable sheet music, YouTube playback, and MP3 accompaniment. And up here at the tab, it's got MuseScore download, downloads. So if you use MuseScore as your uh, music editor, which I do, it's free, it's just absolutely fantastic software. I have uh, all kinds of downloads you can do from here. If you have any questions on how to use these sites, I try to provide some instructions here for each site so you just keep drilling down and down and down. So I hit the home key, it takes me back up to the top of the page. Oh, and in my music arrangements, you see I have saxophone arrangements, guitar arrangements, and piano arrangements. And you can see I've scored a few piano songs too, if you're interested. The next thing under the cheap music arrangement are the recordings I made when I can still move my fingers. Now and then diabetes is taking its toll on me. I can't play guitar anymore, but I made these uh, recordings a few years ago. And I've got four albums I recorded and they're long albums so I think, well, I think um, one of them is 40 minutes long so there's some music to listen to there if you want to. Here's what my granddaughter requested. Whenever you score music you know, I do a lot of repeats and I do a lot of compression of music so I have a lot of first second endings, codas, etc, etc. And this section down here will tell you the provides written instructions on how you use repeats. And it's got examples of songs and repeats. And if my written instructions don't make any sense, I have instructional videos for all these that you can play. And these instructional videos I actually play the song where you can follow and the notes being played and hitting all the different endings. And the final section down here is just for nerds like me who are just curious about how to do some things. 
That's just about all there is to it. And I'll put this down at the bottom because I doubt there'll be much demand for this. But it's handy for me to remind me how to do something I've done two or three years ago and I've forgotten. And that's just about all there is to it. <laughs>